All right, so we're doing making armor templates again. Uh, I believe on the other video we covered how to do a bracer for your forearm, and that applies to any long bony section. So you could do your shin, you could do your bicep, you could do the thigh, and it's all the same template. But today, now we're gonna cover what you do when you're at like the elbow or at the shoulder or the knee, which is just sort of, sort of round general vessel. So again, you have your tape and you're gonna have to dimension your body and this one's a little tricky so sometimes it's good to get a helper whether it's friends or family just someone with the second set of hands because you're trying to measure oh well I want to cover my shoulder from here to here but I want to make sure I'm not stabbing myself in the neck and I also need to know whatever this cross dimension is you know from the back of myself to the front of myself so if you don't have a mirror or you don't have a second set of hands sometimes it's better to mark that and then this part's tricky. You gotta look at yourself and go, okay, they overlapped here in this region. So wear a shirt that you're comfortable marking on. Don't wear your best shirt. Um, you don't wanna do this in a suit and tie, just a regular old t-shirt's fine. And then you're gonna take your components off. You'll see we have our registration mark right there. And we have our second registration mark right here. We're going to overlay them like so. And that is the general template of our pauldron. Now, when you're putting it on yourself, it may not be perfect. And so it's okay when you realize, oh, well, I put it here, but center is actually here. You can peel back your tape, fold it in half, find your true center, because we're human. So my true center is right here. And then we can find the overlay information like so. So this is the general shape that we want. Once again, we're just gonna take the paper, place it on the wall like so. This one's a little easier because you don't have to transfer everything in like a symmetrical pattern. You just sort of pull the whole X off and make sure it lines up with whatever makes sense to you. So we're lining up on center with that line. And now you've got your pauldron so you know it's going to cover the parts of you that are most important. But ultimately you have to decide what geometry do I want? Like what shape? Um, and that, that's a different thing because, you know, this is a standard pauldron shape. It's like a boring shield. But there's nothing to say you can't get fancy and do some little details so that when you have it on, it's got kind of a swooping element or a scalloped edge or like a curve that will create a hard stop for a blade. So we're just going to kind of go with that shape vaguely. I'm going to fold this in half and then I'll get a sense of symmetry that way. And we'll do one folded cut based on my very, very terrible quick drawing. But as we move through this, you'll see it gets a little fancier and that, you know, this detail and that detail are not that crucial to your design. So folding. You ever wonder, like when you're looking at your device and it's like trying to tell you what the brightness is and it's like I want it to look like blinding so everything's washed out. You ever wonder who programmed that? I know I do. Okay, so we've got our shape. Ish. You'll notice I'm not even on the center of my tape. It's not gonna matter. Um, people get really hung up on these details and when you realize that you're human and asymmetry is usually why we function so well. You learn to let go and say, all right, I'm doing my best approximation of my shoulder. When I cut out my template, right, we're using scissors to go through the whole thing. Very beautiful. Boop. All you care about is in the end, oh, it's symmetrical, wow. Looks like I planned it out perfectly. Look at the drawing, not even close. So you're gonna put that on your shoulder and you're gonna ask yourself as I move around, can I hit myself in the neck? Is this rubbing against my bicep? Is this section gonna have to be scooped up? I don't know. So I'll pin it right there. 
and then I'll check that motion, right? So I'm getting a little bit of neck contact. That tells me these should be a little shorter. So I'll just cut that again. Nice little elegant detail. Again, don't get hung up on your Sharpie marks. They're not gonna matter. This is a template, right? This is just so we can translate to leather. So once you have that done, we can go to the vegetable tan leather step.